What's up everyone? I just want to give you a little disclaimer here that uh, I'm now going as East Coast bearded because I live in the Northeast, upstate New York. Um, I just wanted to give the, the presentation and the name a little more authenticity now um, that I'm furthering my journey into the you know social media and and I want to bring across something to you that kind of hits home for me um, of where I am where I'm from and taking pride in that now I'm still Chris with a beard you know I'm not changing up you know the little nickname that I've given myself and people have now you know, call me and gotten to know me by, but, you know, just want to lay that out there that, uh, East Coast Bearded is now the name of the channel, and, uh, kind of going forth, that's what we're going to go by, but I'm still Chris with a beard. Let's get into that intro. My God, ladies and gentlemen, it's 2023. I hope you're washing your beards. Come on, gents. And for you ladies, I know you're washing your hair, so I ain't even got to even uh, yell at you for that. But for you gentlemen out there, you better be washing your beards. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, we're doing another review today. It's on True North Beard Co. I don't do these reviews enough on washes. I think I may have done one in the past, if not any at all. So let's get to it. Today I have a daily beard wash. It is a liquid wash. It is from True North Beard Co. It's called Wicked Clean. It's unscented for those people. I know a lot of people that I associate with don't like a lot of fragrance type stuff. My brother-in-law, for instance, hates the smell of coconut, doesn't like, you know, anything with a fruity type scent. So unscented is the way to go. And this is, company has gone unscented and I'm okay with that. Not everything has to smell or has to smell potent for you to have to buy it. So, um, yeah. I'm going to have the link in the description for True North Beard Co. once again. Um, I believe the price range for this is between $20 and $25. Don't quote me on that. Um, I'll have the price range up there for you though as well. And the ingredients, I'm going to have you guys look for that because ingredients for washes can get kind of slick for a lot of people are allergic to certain things and I don't want to rattle off a bunch of stuff for it to be pointless for you and it's like well I don't even want to you know go that route because I want this review to be on the quality of the product and not necessarily towards the ingredients I mean you can go and look on the website and be like eh this is not for me or you know this is something that you know I should buy my husband he's not allergic to anything type of thing so um Apply a small amount, um, like anything, as far as uh, beard oil and beard butter, or yeah, beard butter, and just, you know, lather it up, wash it for a good 30 seconds to a minute, and uh, wash it out, but, so my review on the beard wash, I look for something that's not going to be stripping, because I've used daily beard washes, and they were very stripping, and they made my beard hair feel like hay or straw. And it just, I got, um, I don't want to say a bunch of uh, beard hair in my hands. But I did get a couple different hairs. And I felt like it was, I was ripping at my beard like when I was trying to rinse it out. And with this daily beard wash, I didn't get that at all. The lather was great. I don't know about any of you gents out there, but I like a beard wash that's very lathering. I can feel the soap just expanding in my beard and my hands as I'm, you know, going through and digging and getting under there and fluffing it out a little bit. So, um, beard wash, five stars, you know. It's probably the best beard wash I've ever used, and I'm not just saying that because I am 
you know, become friends with the owner, um, I truly, 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 100%, you know, being authentic here, this is the best wash that I've ever used. Um, it just, it's your daily beard wash. You can use it every day, even if you're not sweating and you just feel like, you know what, I need to wash my beard today. You know, maybe I was eating a bowl of cereal and a bunch of milk dripped down it, or I was eating a lollipop and now the sides of my mustache are a little bit sticky. And you know, it's okay. This, it's not going to strip your beard. You're not going to do any damage with it. So uh, let's move on. Next beard conditioner i don't think i've ever reviewed um conditioner i could be wrong you can check out uh, my earlier videos in the channel for anyone new and um this is also called wicked clean it's a beard conditioner also on scented so you don't have to deal with all them crazy fragrances and uh once again i'll leave the ingredients and the price amount the uh, price amount will be up there Ingredients I'll you know leave to you for those who have allergies. Um, so the thing I look for in a beard conditioner, I want my beard to be soft when I get out of the shower, and I want to be able to feel like when I lather it in my beard, I want to feel like I don't want it to be lathering like a wash, but I want to be able to feel like it's doing something. You know, you don't want a conditioner that. You know disappears quickly and you feel like you got to use like I don't know like six more squirts just to feel like you put anything into your you know whether it's your head hair or your beard hair for uh, ladies out there you know you want a good quality conditioner that when you get out of the shower it's gonna be like wow you know uh, you know for people who just use conditioner on a day you know maybe you didn't do so much but you want your hair to get some kind of nourishment and and some kind of a wash i like to co-wash my beard every now and then um but i want it to be soft i don't want to get out of the shower and it's like well that kind of was a waste of my money so again you know good quality conditioner five stars for that true north beard co is a new well they're not a new company but they're newly you know rebranded so they're killing it um i have a couple more things i want to do from them but the next video is going to be something a little bit different i'd like to thank you all for watching for anyone new that has enjoyed the content from my last video and enjoyed the content from this video please just hit a like and subscribe if you feel like this is something you can get behind my name's chris with a beard and only together we can discover the beard difference.